In our home in Washington, D.C., there are many trees that we are familiar with. All of these trees have a way to get their seeds to the sun. Sometimes the seeds fly. Sometimes the seed rolls. Sometimes the seed is carried by animals. In warmer climates, there are other kinds of trees that also need to get their seeds to the sun. Some of these trees rely on animals to eat the fruit and somehow move the seeds to a different place. Sometimes those animals live in trees. Other times, those animals live on the ground. The fruits and the seeds help the animals, and the animals help the trees get their babies to a good place to live. But some trees do not rely on animals. One of these trees is the palm tree, some living in the forest and some living by the water. Eventually, floating coconuts will wind up on shore. And when they do, what do you think will happen? This coconut has washed back up on shore. What do you think it's going to do when it gets here? Let's go into the forest and take a look. Coconuts that fall in the rainforest usually fall underneath their parents. Some coconuts don't grow at all. Do you think this small palm tree will grow tall and healthy? Where might be a better place to grow? How does having a seed that floats help a palm tree avoid extinction?